Hello, you're watching Airy TV English News Podcast live from Red Quarters in Asmara. I'm Han Berhut. Let's first look at the top stories that are making headlines today. Eritrea clinched gold medals at African Cycling Championship. Seminar to yours in Tessene. Seven magnitude quake rattles Taiwan, injures one. Deadly tornado tears through southern Louisiana, leaving thousands without power. The Eritrean Cycle National Team that is taking part at the Africa Championship in Sharm al Sheikh, Egypt, recorded a shining victory. At the team time trial held today, the Eritrea national team won four gold medals in the elite categories in both genders. In men elite category, that was with nested heavy competitiveness Eritrea, won the gold medal through Henok Muluberhan, Dawit Yemane, Mikhail Goitom, and Akhlilu Gabrihwat. The South African and Algerian national teams won the silver and bronze medals following the Eritrean national team in 6 and 10 seconds respectively. In females category, Eritrea clinched the gold medal and the national teams of Mauritius and Rwanda won the silver bronze medals respectively. The chairman of the National Union of Eritrean Youth and students Mr. Saleh Ahmadi conducted a seminar to use civil servants and members of the National Defense Forces in Tessene subzone. The seminar focused on historical and timely imperative and responsibility it shoulders upon the youth, highlighting on the history of Eritrean people's struggle for independence and safeguarding the national sovereignty, Mr. Saleh called on the youth, to reinforce participation in the unveiling era by expanding and increasing their knowledge on their history and possess, possess abilities that cope with the prevailing era. Finally, finally, noting that countries of the Horn of Africa require joint cooperation to recover the lost opportunities due to external interventions and create better opportunities for their peoples, Mr. Sal further said that the initiative Eritrea has started with its neighbors, countries and peoples will be reinforced with the con con conscious role of the youth. Participants on their part underscoring the significance of the seminar called for its, its sustainability. Residents of Nafa Sabzon conducted elections of area administrators, managing directors, and village coordinators. At the election that was conducted from 26 February to 13 March, 11 area administrators, 11 managing directors, as well as 68 coordinators, village coordinators, including 13 females, have been elected. In a speech delivered, Mr. Jacob Idris, administrator of the Nafa Sabzon, commending the public for strong participation, called on the residents to cooperate and encourage the newly elected administrators in, the, in their endeavors. The newly elected area administrators, managing directors, and village coordinators, on their part, expressed a conviction to live up to expectations of the people that elected them. Vocational training has been organized for 358 students and youth civil servants in Mendefera subzone. At the graduation ceremony held on 19 March, it was stated that the vocational training included two to three month long training to on beauty salon, video shooting, electronics, electric installation, and graphics. Speaking at the event, the head of National Union of Eritrean News and Students Branch in Mendefera Subzone, Mr. Saleh Mohammed said, stating that the training is part of the effort being exerted to build the capacity of youth, called on the trainees to part particularly, practically apply the knowledge they have acquired, indicating that the strong effort is being exerted to empower the youth, enabling them to play a leading role in nation-building programs. Mr. Girmay Gabru, head of National Union of Eritrean News in and Students Branch in the Southern Region, on his part, called on the all institutions to play due part to that effect. Documents of the National Union of Eritrean News and Students Branch in Mendefera Subzone indicate that in, in 2021, a total of 580 youth and students have been provided with vocational trainings on various fields.
We will be back with international news. Stay tuned. A magnitude 6.7 earthquake that struck off the coast of Taiwan early Wednesday rattled the buildings and roused people from their sleep, leaving one injured and caused a half-constructed bridge in the island's east to collapse. Taiwan is regularly hit by earthquakes as it lies near the junction of two tectonic plates. It does not issue tsunami warnings unless a quake registers at more than magnitude 7.0. The U.S. Geological Survey initially estimated the 1.41 a.m. quake to be magnitude 6.9, but downgraded it to 6.6 before finally assessing it back up to 6.7. It also revised the depth of from an initial, each initial 10 kilometers to 24 kilometers. Government issued alerts, sent people's cell phone blaring, and social social media lit up with people posting their reactions on being woken up. A large tornado ripped through New Orleans on Tuesday, killing at least one person, destroying homes, and knocking down power lines, media reported, in another setback for area that has yet to fully recover from last year's hurricane. A dark final cloud touched down, and the city implode through neighborhoods pictures on social media showed. There were no official reports of the number of people injured. In Arabi, the tornado blew off roofs and knocked over trees, and utility post NOLA.com reported. Tuesday's tornado struck a day after twisters destroyed homes and injured people elsewhere in the region. Before we close for today's news, let's have a recap of the headlines tonight. Eritrea clinched gold medals at African Cycling World Championship. Seminar to use in Tessene. Six point seven magnitude quake rattles Taiwan injures one. Deadly tornado tears through southern Louisiana, leaving thousands without power. That was all for today's news. Thanks for watching. Have a great night.